What's going on YouTube, GSNorate here, so in today's video we have an important release for those of you who are using Linux and Windows. A new tool has been released which helps with the Checkmate jailbreak and of course for the devices exploitable with the Checkmate exploit and of course with the Checkmate jailbreak. Now the tool is called ReRain and it has been released by Aiden in here and he said quote ReRain version 1.2 released and he provides the link in here. Have fun, big stuff coming in the next week. So he posted this in here which contains everything that is in this version and the script is available here on GitHub. Now, this is actually a multi-purpose tool, which works for both Windows and Linux apparently, and a Windows tutorial will be available soon, but it says in here, quote, ReRain is a work-in-progress multi-tool for iDevices with lots of features for jailbroken and non-jailbroken devices. It supports A5 to A11 devices, iOS 6 to iOS 13, and this is actually quite interesting. Now, it says in here that it has currently 15 multi-purpose functions, with loads more planned, such as Tether downgrading and untethered downgrading. Now, I looked over the ReRain SH in here, which is basically the script, and it does seem to take a lot of advantage of the libimobile device components, which is actually quite good. That's why they were created to be used. So this might just be the first tool that I see for Linux and Windows, which is based on the CheckRain and the CheckMate exploit, and of course runs on Windows and Linux, because the CheckRain jailbreak only works on a Mac, and of course the official CheckMate exploit has support for a Mac, and possibly even for Linux, but there is an important distinction in here. This tool that was released, the ReRain, is not a jailbreak per se. This is actually a helper tool for jailbroken and non-jailbroken devices. So it says in here, the current non-jailbroken features include kick out of DFU mode and restore and update the signed firmware. The current jailbreak features include update the signed firmware, respring by killing the backport D, respring loop fix, I have no idea what that is, kill a specified process, UI cache, iDevice info, install packages, remove packages, but of course the most important are yet to come. It says in here, quote, upcoming non-jailbroken features include tether downgrade and upgrade, untethered OTA downgrade, live kernel debugger and simple future restore. And then of course upcoming jailbroken features, tether downgrade and upgrade, untethered OTA downgrade, better iDevice info, semi-restore iDevice without updating, simple future restore and entire file system backup. Now this sounds a little bit like Android where you can just backup the whole system after it's rooted. And that's actually quite an interesting idea because you would be able to make a copy of all your setup like your tweaks and themes. Now the tool as I said currently works on Linux and it does have an installed script but it will be very very soon posted as a Windows tutorial because apparently it is compatible with Windows as well and although the untethered and tethered downgrades are yet to be implemented they will come very soon according to the uh, developer. It's actually the first effort that I see into providing a tool that is available for Windows and Linux that is compatible with the CheckRain devices which are the iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 4s. Now when this is finished this is probably going to allow downgrades and stuff like that even though they're tethered they will probably be able to go to like iOS 12 and stuff like that and iOS 10 which is actually quite good. Now this may depend on whether it works or not. For example some downgrades may not be possible due to SEP and basement because you probably know you need to use the latest available SEP and basement, the latest signed ones and of course that one may not be compatible with for example iOS 11 and so on. However for those of you who are new to the jailbreak community, this features in here might actually be very useful and the tethered downgrade and upgrade and of course the untethered OTA downgrade look very interesting and it's definitely a good idea to see a tool like this being created. Anyways, that's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to check out the uh, tool in the description down below, I am Geosnow, until the next time, subscribe to stay updated, peace out.